Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here, and today I'm bringing you super good news. Shopify has finally released automation workflows, which will allow you to create automated welcome, win back, or upsell emails all within Shopify. You will have access to an automation editor where you can edit the conditions, view the summary page that shows the status of your workflow, email results, and much more, everything for free. I got early access to this tool and I've been playing around with it for a little bit and now I'm ready to show you how to set it up. So let's get started in 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started. So to access the new marketing automations, you're gonna go to your Shopify admin and click on marketing and then automations and click on create automation. And right here, this is all new, all new. Before you could not do that. Before you had to use different apps, some of them paid, but right now everything is here. So I'm super excited about this. Uh, we're gonna start with a welcome new subscriber automation because what I want to do is check this out. If you go to my website and you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see how I am offering a 10% discount if you put your email there and sign up for the newsletter. I also have a pop-up, but on every single page, you can see this thing at the bottom. And before I had to use third-party tools. So let's try this with the official Shopify automations. So as soon as the customer enters their email, I wanna send them a message with a coupon code. Welcome, blah, 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 and here's your coupon code. Now you can buy. And if they don't buy, I have their email, so I can retarget them later. So very important, always you have to offer something, okay? Offer something in exchange for their email. So let's go back here to the automation panel and click on welcome new subscriber. And this is the workflow editor, okay? Here is where you specify the, the campaign start, here's where you put the conditions and then also where you put what to do if these conditions are met, okay? It already pre-populates, okay, with some basic stuff because we chose welcome new subscribers and here you can see that the campaign, well, the workflow will start when a customer subscribes to email, but it's gonna check if the subscription method is not equal to checkout because sometimes when people subscribe is because they just went to check out and they put their email. You don't want to send them a coupon code after they already purchased. They're going to feel horrible. Okay. Don't do that. You want to, you want to make sure that you're sending this coupon before they check out. Once they check out, no, they already spent the money. I'm sorry. You know? So, okay. So it's going to check for that. And then what's it going to do? It's going to send a marketing email automatically instant. Okay. So let's click here because we want to modify the email and we're going to click on edit email content. So let's put a subject for this welcome email. Thank you for joining. Here is your discount code. And now this is just like the regular email editor that Shopify has super simple to use. I'm going to quickly prepare the email. To apply the discount, you have to already have a discount. It doesn't generate automatic new discounts. You have to have one and you can change it every once in a while. If you don't want people, you know, all of these websites that uh, get your coupon codes and then put them there online, uh, that's super annoying, but well, you will have to, you know, change it every once in a while. So you can just go back to your Shopify and just click on discount. And here you'll just create discount, discount code, choose the code. I just put motif 10 sub N19. It is representative to me. I know that I created it on November 19th, you know, and also the, the customer will think that is an automatically new generated just for him. Okay. So serves double purpose. Let's choose percentage, 10%. I'm going to apply it to all the products no minimum required, everyone can use it. I'm not going to limit the number of times it can be used because many people are gonna get this coupon 
and I'm not gonna limit to one use per customer. You know, I'm okay with giving 10% every time. Click on save discount code and that's it. Now let's go back here where it says, uh, you click on the discount, click on select discount and there it is. Let's add an image so the customer can visualize him already having the product in his hand, getting it delivered for 10% off. Actually, let's try to put it up here. Okay, so I just finished the email and I added a little emoji right here on the subject just so it pops up when they open the email and just have some basic text, the image, I have the discount that they can click or they can just copy this and paste it on checkout. I have six products here, some of the best selling ones, then social media links and a little closing statement right there. So we'll click on apply changes and boom, this is what they will receive. Okay. So let's close that. And the workflow is finished. So we just have to activate it right here. Turn on. I have to remember to disable the other apps that are sending an automatic email when people subscribe, because if not, they're going to receive two emails. So I got to remember that. Do that if you have another app. So that's done. Let's click on exit. Now let's do another automation. But this time I want to send a thank you email, a personal thank you for everybody that purchased on the site the first time. Okay because I want to create also another one for when they are a repeat customer, showing even more gratitude, okay? So how can we do that? So let's click on first purchase upsell. All right, it's gonna give us the, the basic uh, configuration and then we just change whatever we need. So start when the order is paid. Perfect, the customer purchase. And then it's gonna wait for 14 days, no. I don't want to wait 14 days. I want to express gratitude soon. I don't want it instant because it's a personal email that I'm writing, right? So I'm going to put, I'm going to change this to hours and I'm going to change this to 12 hours. So we're going to wait 12 hours. Then we're going to check if the customer accepts marketing, they order, and this is a thank you email. We're going to delete that step and we're just going to go to the last step, we're going to send them a marketing email. So let's create the email really quickly. We want to make it personal. So let's add text right here. I'm going to delete that and we're going to put hi. And then we're going to use one of the magic automatic, you know, uh, fillers. And we're going to choose first name. And this is going to populate, it's going to read the order, the, the customer, Shopify knows the customer name. So it's going to say, hi, first name, blah, 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 blah. So now it's more personal. So the thank you email is finished and the subject will be thank you, the name and a little heart. And then we appreciate your support. Hi, the first name. I just wanted to take a second to thank you for your business and for your recent purchase from our store. I hope that you love your new fitness wear. You put whatever you sell and we hope that it motivates you. Thank you for supporting a small company with big dreams. If you have any questions or if there is anything else that I can help you with, please reach out to me without hesitation. The social media and, you know, to make it more personal, just a photo of, in this case, me. All right. So apply changes. And now we have the thank you email ready. So whenever they order after 12 hours, they will get a very personal thank you email. And I'm going to tell you, it really works a lot. I have gotten many, many emails saying, oh, thank you so much. I'm glad to support. And, you know, you can get to know your customer. If you start a conversation, a lot of times they repeat the purchase, you know, they buy again. So it's a very powerful tool. And honestly, I really mean it. I really appreciate that they buy from my store. I recommend making another automation for the next time that they purchase. Okay. It can be the same email saying, Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. It should be something different. Something like, wow, thank you so much. We're glad that you're back. It's super rewarding to see a repeat customer or something like that. The only thing that you will need to change is here 
I'm just going to do it on this one where it says order count. You're going to click on that and then change this to the conditions have to be met and just change this to greater than one. So if it's their second order or their third, fourth, fifth, you know, you can send them uh, another, you know, personalized message and you can go crazy with this. Let's say that you have one unique email for the first time that they buy the second, the third, the fourth, you can go really crazy with this. You know, it just will take a lot of time. And also look at this. The level of personalization that you can have is amazing. You can, for example, establish a criteria, a condition for discount code. You know, so check if they use a specific discount code. Let's say that you're running a marketing campaign, an advertising campaign on TikTok, let's say, and, and you know, you have a specific coupon code for people that, you know, that click on that ad because you're promoting, I don't know, a, a, an event or something. So here you can target a specific email for the people that use that coupon code and say, hey, thank you for seeing my TikTok, whatever, you know. So the possibilities are really crazy. Another condition that you can use is the unpaid condition, whether no payments have been made for the order. So this would be something like a, you know, a cart recovery email. There's some apps. I use an app that actually sends a recovery email every, like the first time it sends it after 24 hours, then it sends it 48 hours later and 72 hours later. So, you know, just to try to recover the cards, but you can also do it here. It's going to take some time to set it up, but you don't have to pay for that app. And I pay for that app. I pay a lot. So I think it's probably worth it if I just set everything up here, you know, and, and stop paying for that app, even though I really like it. Another interesting one here will be the product tags. And this will be if you want to create, for example, an upsell, you know, or a cross sell after they check out, right? So let's say that they bought something that you have a tag for t-shirt, okay? And then you want to upsell them, you know, some pants or, or a jacket, right? So you will choose product tag and then just choose whatever tag you have. For example, here, you know, you have a tag of shirt and then when they, you know, when this condition, the product tag is equal to shirt, then do that. If not, you know, it won't send the email. You can create so many different automations here, but you have to be careful not to overlap different automations. Let's take a look at some of the other suggested automations. For example, the customer win back. The workflow is going to start after an order is fulfilled, then it's going to wait 60 days and then it's going to send them an email saying, hey, we miss you, whatever you want to buy something else or you might be interested in this. So super powerful. And just to show you the power of the workflows here, we are sending an email after all these conditions are met, but you can do many more things. For example, if we click on then, instead of sending a marketing email, we're going to choose a different action. You can choose, for example, instead of sending a marketing email, you could update a customer note. So let's say that every time a customer buys something that, you know, weights more than 20 pounds, you have to send it with UPS, for example. And so you can put an automatic note when the condition of the package weight is more than 50 pounds, then automatically add a note saying ship with UPS. So your fulfillment, you know, your fulfillment people will read that and be like, oh, okay, okay. So we're shipping this with UPS instead of USPS. So whatever, you know, and of course you can also choose to add a customer tag, which, you know, if you have some external apps that uh, get information from the tags or from the notes, you know, you can have everything automated right now. This is completely amazing. I'm, I'm super surprised. Oh, and did I mention that this also comes with analytics? Check this out. If you come here to automations, you can see, well, all the automations that you have. This is the one that we created to welcome new subscribers. I just did a test and look here, you can see the summary of the automation and you can see here view runs. And here I just made this, you know, a test. I just subscribe on the website and automatically it sent the, the email, right? So you can see every time someone subscribes, it's going to appear here. You can see here completed with actions and you can also see if they fail, but not only that also check this out right here. 
you can see the open rate of the email, the click-through rate, and how many sales it has bring to you. So yeah, you have a lot of data to, you know, to make sure that it's working and, and to make sure that your, you know, your efforts are getting rewarded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a set of workflows, you know, uh, for um, um, customer thank you, uh, getting the subscriber, you know, customer win back. I'm going to do a few of them for another video and I'm going to then explain and probably, I don't know if there's a way to share this, you know, the method so you can just copy it or at least I'm going to put some images so you can copy exactly what I do, but I'm going to create all the possibilities, all the funnels. So, you know, you have everything because sometimes it's a little bit hard to, to understand, especially because this is still on beta and um, I have access a little bit early, but probably by the time the video is uploaded, everybody will have access and um, hopefully I can, you know, have everything ready so you guys can just go and just copy everything, right? Just to make it easy. So, you know, subscribe and, and you know, like the video just so, so that you're up to date with with my doings here. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope that you are as excited as I am with this new tool. It's gonna save me a lot of money. Hopefully it also saves you a lot of money. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out.